There's some right here, Kevin. It's the only spot where they cross. This is from our first investigation at Del High, where we picked up an electromagnetic field coming from the concrete slab floor, almost like a fault line or ley line type geomagnetic anomaly. Look, they spin right back on me. I can't spin them on me. It's right here. And when I walked right here, I got like lightheaded. Yeah, stand back. Because you'll feel it run through you. Mm -hmm. Bang on something. Uh, slab. Okay, Let's, let me check it out with you. Right there. Now push that forward, it'll break and go back to three. Forward. Just push it forward. You'll see a break in it. We'll go down to one. Yeah, these type of geomagnetic EMF anomalies coming from the ground, these are associated with ley lines, fault lines, burial grounds. Very strange paranormal activity will be found in these areas of concentration. Yeah. They have a basement, right? No. It's concrete slab. He said he had a basement, though. He said no basement. Oh, he said no basement. No basement, yeah. Oh, okay. It's concrete slab floor. That's interesting. Well, we can definitely show him this. You can see how I was breaking the magnetic field, but it's coming from the... So this is definitely going to be a hot spot. I mean, it, I almost think it's in my head now, like a placebo effect. Every time I walk past that, <laughs> that corner. This is, this is more than last time we were here. I felt fucking yeah. weird in that hallway. I didn't way. feel none of this shit last time. What's your name? Is it Casper? And I mean, that, that, did you see her daughter was, was being like affected or something? She wasn't like that the last time we came through and we're talking about this stuff. Now this is why paranormal researchers use K2 meters and mel meters to detect the electromagnetic field anomalies. I mean, you come right here. Now last time we were here, Chris was talking about the little girl. You said impossible. What's impossible? You have to scream what you're trying to say. You have to yell it. Dude, I seen one that mirror, I'm telling you. It was a blue. Little blue spark. Where'd you see that? On the door. But I was like, really? I was like, I went like this. I panned my camera away and I was looking with my eyes. I saw my eyes. It looked like it was in front of my camera, like on the other side. Now you gonna get me, Casper, if I lay in this bed? Go get me if I sleep in here? Now here's the images we, we were sent a week before the investigation. This is what happened to a family member that slept in this bed along with having very creepy feelings. Does this room feel different to you? Oh, I don't feel all congested in this room. Yeah, I feel like this room is more open. Dude, that, there's some weird shit going on in that fucking hallway. Man, that felt weird. Dude, my whole head was like... Let's All right, buddy, I'm gonna sit down and wait for you to come and get me. I'm gonna go back out here and get me a scalp massage. See what hey, the... Buddy, we're here for you. We really know what you are. Dude, it is... It is, it is it, it's the feel, bro. As soon as you... I know. As soon as you walk into it, you can feel it. I mean, it, I almost think it's in my head now, like a placebo effect. Every time I walk past that <laughs> that corner, this is this is more than last time we were here. I felt fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't feel none of this shit last time. And then it takes your body like a minute to go back to that restful state. You know what I mean? It's like you walk into something and it's yeah, like... something like tense. It's weird. It, it, it's, it's like it shakes you up. Yeah. And then you walk out of it and you, and then it's like your body has to like stop wobbling. And then it like settles back in. Walk back in. I mean, the, I can't explain it, man. No, come here. Like, like stand here. <coughs> and, then, and then we've been standing here for a while. Yeah. Man. Now you yeah. feel it. Now step out of it. And you're still going to feel it. But it, then it starts to wear off. It'll start to like slow. You feel it? Like this is just normal. Yeah. It's like fucking Twilight like Zone or something. It's almost like a, there was a physiological response back there. I almost wish I would have brought like a 
like a blood pressure cuff or something and just sit in here sit yeah. still and see if it if it if your heart rate that would be an interesting test. Yeah, it is this it knocks you off balance. It's just a weird magnetic pull. <laughs> Fuck. You just feel it. I mean, I right here like, too. Right here is a spot. Yeah, right here definitely. Coming here. Walk through this room. Man, everything. Yeah. This is weird. On the door. But I was like, really? I was like, I went like this. I panned my camera away. I was looking with my eyes. I saw my eyes. It looked like it was in front of my camera, like on the other side. All right, come and get me. Time to come and get me. I should have brought my Ouija board. Do you know what a Ouija board is? Do you know what a Ouija board is? Mm, that was weird. What? Let me check this shit again. <laughs> I almost thought you were in this room for a second. Something, hold on. Something weird. Come on, move that door. This door, like. Did you get that behind you? Yeah. This door, like. Come and run us out! We're gonna burn your fucking house down! 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 That's my stomach. I mean, you can feel it with your fucking hand. You got your dowsing rods? Didn't we have them out last time? I want to have Just bring the K2. Alright. I want to see if we can get to spike it on Q or something. I mean, we don't know if we're being listened to. Because this thing doesn't talk back to us, do you? It's just gonna do this. Yep. I don't. I mean, I don't even think we got a hit last time. Now watch this. I'm gonna put this right over here. And look, it's already going. Man, yeah, magnetic field is fucking wet. And then you walk here, and then look, spins back on me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Well, it's just steady. I mean, there is definitely something flowing through this fucking hallway. Well, dude, I can feel it. It is the weirdest vibe. I know. It's this really is, strong. It didn't do that. I mean, it was kind of subtle last time, and nothing like this. It's very strong tonight. All right, is this where you're coming through? You're going to speak to this device. This can con You can contact us through this. You can say whatever you want. This thing ain't doing shit. What? Get your ass over here and move that lamp. 
Are you afraid to get caught doing it? It's only getting anything off of that when I'm moving it around. Like right here. Speak up! Come on! <laughs> Say it again, what? It was like, um, for a, for a Type of woman's voice on the window. Hello? Well, come on, show us something cool. We'll do whatever you want. The fuck was that? My gird one. Like flash a light. Give us a pretty light show. Oh shit. What's up? Something just moved. On your camera? Yeah, I said give us a pretty light show. Something just flew right fucking it went down from up. That had a weird look to it. Now let's take a good look at this thing. I debunk bugs and dust particle off my camera all the time. I know what to look for. Now when this thing's coming up, if you look to the lower right hand corner in the darkness, you will see tiny, very subtle pinpoint flashes going on the same exact time this object comes in. Now this is right below where I captured that spark of light in your bedroom the first time. This looks directly like a translucent anomaly. This is very anomalous. Now here is the negative view with some enhancements. You can see it just pops out of nowhere. Jumps about a foot. And it's gone. 